We begin with a renewed call for change in the wake of a violent weekend in Indianapolis. An Indiana lawmaker wants mandatory, stricter sentences for criminals who use guns during violent crimes. State Senator Jim Merritt introduced the bill last legislative session. And after this weekend's violence, he plans to try again to get the state to crack down on criminals with guns. RTV6 reporter Tanya Spencer has details and reaction. I believe criminals know exactly how much time they're going to be in jail. They say, oh, well, I'll do five and I'll be out in two and a half. And they're willing to, willing to do that to, to get what they need. And this is all circling around drugs, guns, and, uh, and, and creating violence. Senator Jim Merritt believes his bill would help stop that violence by deterring criminals. If passed, the law would automatically tack on an extra 20 years behind bars, in addition to the regular sentence for any criminal who uses a gun Six. while committing a violent crime, like a robbery, carjacking, or sex crime, even if no one was hurt. A strong message that if you even brandish a gun in the commission of a crime, then you're at least going away for 20 years. This strong message in the wake of a violent weekend where seven people were shot in Broad Ripple after a fight and a Metro police officer was shot and killed answering a call. That's unnecessary to me. That's extraneous. It's not, that's too much really. Some believe a mandatory 20 year sentence is extreme. I mean, maybe if you lowered it down to maybe 10 years or something like that, but 20 years, I mean, it. Depending on what case it could be, you know, the situation, you never know the situation, so maybe, you know, 10 years maybe. But I can understand if, you know, I guess that's a way to stop people from using guns for crime. So I guess if they think about that and he puts it out there, maybe that'll stop them. But I think it's still like maybe a little bit too much. Others say it's time for extreme actions. I think it's a, it's a good law. It's something that we see a lot of times. It's repeat offenders that are out on the street doing the same thing over and over again. So if you stiffen the law on the crime for the punishment for the crime, hopefully that kind of puts the second thought in people's mind before doing some of these stupid acts that they're doing. Senator Merritt didn't have the support of other lawmakers to get the bill through last time, but with all of the recent violent crime in our city, he believes he's got the support to get it through this time. Reporting downtown, Tanya Spencer, RTV6. We reached out to the Indiana Department of Correction for comment. They say it's too soon to tell how this legislation could affect jail overcrowding. That would presumably be part of the conversation as this bill goes forward. Another